Okay, I'm just doing a mini blog right now. I'm going to get ready to the gym because we have belt testing this week. Um, and I'm wearing this hood because I'm cold. So, anyway. Um, just want to talk about my f- the fight and uh, the past fights this weekend and what were my highlights of the fight. And it's just so much different behind the scenes and then watching the whole made production you know, on TV or even live is, um, it's spectacular, but just being there, you know, the week in advance and going behind the scenes and just talking to the different people, players in the fight and the production, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Like, um, always Bert, I mean, whether it's the pre-fight stuff, the, you know, the signing stuff, like, you know, you got to sign stuff or the, um, checking of the banner and the shorts, make sure all the sponsors are okay. Um, just Bert's a character. He's always playing old school music, which I love. And uh, we have had a semi dance off. We did the penguin. I know you guys uh, that are old like us remember that. You other youngsters don't. But um, so that's always fun. And then like Tony and and T Wade, just just guys that are like those two guys are under Bert. And just they help make everything run so smoothly. It's like, it's such a big production. I mean, you see it on TV or even live. It's a huge production. These guys are behind the scenes just knocking all this stuff out, you know. Um, So that's always fun. Then you get to see the guys, you know, the fight guys, the fighters, and their camps um, uh, around the the hotel, in in the training rooms. Um, it's always interesting to talk to them and, and, uh, uh, some of them are just super, super, super friendly and the others are just super, super friendly, but they're all really friendly. I mean, they're just a good, classy, uh, just bunch of martial artists. I mean, there's no trash talking. There's no, I mean, I mean, you would think that from, uh, from Rampage and Rampage is just one of the nicest guys, funniest guys you'll ever meet. I mean... I mean, one of the funniest parts of this whole uh, weekend was when he knew he lost, everyone knew he lost, but when they were calling the winner and he raised his hand in the middle of the cage and just smiled. I mean, that's just, that's not only, to me, that's that's not only just funny as hell, that's just real class. I mean, I remember, you know, he fought a really close fight with someone and um, I, he didn't think he won, but anyone else, they you know, Joe Rogan interviews, they'd say, yeah, it was a close fight, but I know I had it. And they know they didn't. I mean, they interviewed him after that fight. It was a close one. He goes, I don't even know what the judges were looking at. I got my ass whooped tonight. I mean, he's that kind of guy that's just brutally honest to a fault. And um, he's a great guy to hang out with and just to watch him work and, and fight. And he fights with his heart. Uh, he's a freaking, um, you know, he's just, he's a, he's a warrior all the way through. He's, he's never going to back up. Um, and like I said, he has, he has honor and he respects himself, the fans and his opponent. And it's, uh, it's really not, you know, I know it was an honor for, for Glover to fight him because Glover loves him, but it was an honor for me to, you know, work with him again and, you know, that capacity. But, um, like I said, so that was a really fun part of it. Another really funny part, you got to, Walking out to the cage is probably the most nerve-wracking part for any fighter. I mean, I mean, you're always nervous that week. You know, even in the dressing room, you're nervous. But when they say, time to roll, Bert comes in your dressing room. He starts yelling, time to roll, let's go. You start walking out towards the cage. And we do the walkout. You guys see it on TV or if you're there. But behind the scenes, you know, we're all walking. Security guys are around us. And I'm nervous. I'm usually more nervous than the fighter. Just because I'm a wimp, I guess. I don't know why, but I am. So, like, we're, like, halfway out, and we're stopped waiting for the cameras. And, like, uh, Glover knows how nervous I am, and he's really relaxed, just bouncing around. And he turns to me, just sees my face, that I'm just, like, totally nervous. And he goes, Coach! Coach, I don't want to do this, man! I changed my mind! I do not want to do this! Please! I don't want to do this! And I just looked at him, and all the security guys and the camera guys were like, Holy shit! But I, I knew he was joking, and, and he did that just to make me smile and feel more at ease. I mean, how many guys going into the freaking cage, you know, to fight Rampage in front of 
16, 17,000 screaming fans while, while he's trying to take your head off have enough composure to turn around and make a joke just to make their coach feel more at ease. So, I mean, that was definitely one of my favorite parts of the whole weekend as well. So, um, it was a great trip. As you guys saw, the fight turned out great. Um, and we had a great time. Um, the fact that Chuck flew over there, like he got there late, uh, he got there late Friday, and then, uh, oh, he got there late Saturday, and then er left early, early, early Sunday. So he was there for like, you know, 12, 15 hours. And that's a long trip from L.A. He didn't, he didn't drive from Milwaukee. I mean, he came from L.A. He did that just to support Glover and just be there for Glover. Uh, and that's what you call a family. That's what you call love and support and mentoring. I mean, you know, he dropped everything he did, did jumped in a plane, you know, flew all the way across, you know, almost all the way across the continent, you know, for 12 hours just to support his, his, you know, his protege. And that's what you call love and family. And that's what the pit's all about. And that's why I'm so proud of, you know, being a part of the pit. I may be a small part of the pit, but I am a part of the pit. All right. See you guys later.